Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this series, SQL Server on Amazon RDS. Um, this just, is just a very quick video uh, connecting to your RDS instance, so let's jump straight into the action. So here we are in the AWS Management Console, um, where we've been previously. And if you remember, the recently visited services shows us the places that we've been before, and it just makes for some easier navigation. So I'm going to click on RDS. And the instance that we created in the last video is going to be here. So DB instances, it's showing that we've got one out of a potential 40. Um, 40 is like the soft limit that AWS set, but if you needed more, you can, you can ask for more. Um, and the instance um, was called DemoDB. So let's click on there and get some details. <clears throat> so the first thing is your endpoint here. Okay, so the endpoint is really like the, the full name that you're going to use to connect to your instance. Um, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to connect from Management Studio, which is the most popular uh, piece of software for managing SQL Server databases. But you would use this in your connection strings for, for applications as well. Okay, so let's um, take that out of here and pop into Management Studio. Okay, so here we are in Management Studio, and I'm going to paste that endpoint name in there. If you remember that I set the name as John RDS for the login name, and I'm going to pop the password in there as well. And let's just connect and see how we get on. Now the first thing you're going to notice is, and you may notice this if you've used SQL Server before, in most cases when you click connect you're going to be in there pretty quickly, unless there's there's a reason for the latency. If you're getting this kind of greyed out um, screen here where it's trying to, to make a connection work, then you know that there's probably going to be a failure. So we'll just give this a little second and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're getting the error message, cannot connect to DemoDB, um, and it doesn't like the, the network path, so something is not letting us in there, but we know it's correct because we copied and pasted it from the, the AWS console. So let's just have a quick look at what we've missed. Um, if you look at this section here, um, you can see that if you remember back to the previous video, we used the VPC security group of default. So um, let's click in here. We're using the default security group. And for the default security group, you will set rules for who's allowed in and out. So the inbound rules are set as here. All traffic's allowed in if it's from within the security group. My own laptop is not within the security group sitting here at home. So what we need to do is allow access to that. So let's edit the inbound rules and let's add a rule. So I'm going to leave that rule as it is, but we're going to add a new one. <clears throat> now, you can choose all traffic. You can pick whichever um, type of connection you're, you're looking for and it'll pick you up the default port. Uh, we know for SQL Server, it's 14.33. Um, so they've listed that as MS SQL. It comes up with 1433. Um, now you can put in any sort of custom IPs or you can put in ranges. Um, however, I'm just going to put in my IP for where I am at the moment. And it can automatically detect that. So we're going to allow that. And let's just say John Home. Hit save. And we can see that both rules are now in play. Okay, so we have one for our port 1433 from my IP address, and we've got one for all ports from the default security group. So let's jump back into SQL Server Management Studio and see how we get on now. So let's hit the connect button, and hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a delay. Yep, as you can see, we're straight in. So that's the, the main thing to do. One thing to bear in mind, just as a word of caution, if you are adding rules, make sure that they are specific to the places that you want to be able to access your resources. If you do something like anywhere and you put in the 00, zero IP range, then uh, you're going to be opening up your instance to the world. And we don't want to do that. So let's just cancel out of there. Okay, thanks for watching and join us again for the next one.